Survive Outdoors, we're back. What we do are wilderness medicine videos, how to keep you safe and what you can do to get back if, safely. If you get injured, we do some gear reviews. Today we're doing some survival hacks, multiple uses of a plastic bag. And I'm sure there's others. <clears throat> so please do me a favor and all of the followers Comment down below. Let me know some other uses that you use as a plastic bag in the outdoors for a survival hack. That would be great. We all learn from each other. It would be awesome. So let's go use a plastic bag in different kinds of ways. They talk about if you're lost in the woods, use duct tape streamers, you know, 50 yards in each direction. Tape them up, especially if they're orange, yellow. Water in a plastic bag. Take some mud. Uh, paracord, tape, whatever, tie these up. Let me tell you, you want to talk about reflective on a sunny day? You can see that mile, a mile away, not a problem. And if you run, happen to run across, uh, let's say you have a glass bottle. Why you would, I don't know. Or if you found some trash, break the glass bottle, throw a couple glass shards in the bag, you hang that up in a tree with glass shards, you have one heck of a reflector to be found. So both of these methods work really well to find you if you're lost out in the outdoors. That's another quick idea hack to be found. So I was an avid waterfowl hunter in my youth and I mean obsessed. My dad got me some bread bags, brought them along. We're in the duck blind. It's about 10 below zero. I take my boots off as he instructs, and he puts bread bags on my feet. Warm those guys up. I'm telling you, it was fantastic. So this will trap heat. You're in the cold in the winter. Put that plastic bag on your foot. You can actually even tape this around to even hold it or tie it. And this works wonders to entrap heat into your foot, and it will keep your foot warm. I am telling you, toasty. Now, here's the dilemma with that. You cannot really, well, you can if you want. If you walk with these on, your feet are going to sweat. Your feet sweat. You're going to have fluid moisture in the bag, and then they're going to freeze. It's going to get doggone cold. No pun intended on the doggone. So... These help a lot by sticking them in, in your in a situation. You're waiting to get help. Got some plastic bags. I keep two different sizes in my backpack just for that reason. So there's another use of a plastic bag. If I don't mention this, I'm going to catch it in the comments. And if I do mention this, I'm going to catch it in the comments. But you know what you can do with this? You put stuff in it. <laughs> but it does keep it dry. So you can carry things in it. And you can carry water back and forth, blah, blah, blah. There's another use of a plastic bag. It's original use. Put things in it. Another thing a plastic bag is really good for is you can take your knife. You can cut this up very easily. And what you're going to, it'll just easily shred right like that. And it's kind of an, this is kind of one of those no brainer things. You have a laceration. Maybe you have to cross a body of water. Maybe it is pouring down rain. On wounds, I am really big the first 24 hours, you want to keep it dry. You're going to take your plastic bag, cut out a small area, use some duct tape, and you can take that and tape that right over your wound. Just like you get a cut and you have to take a shower, right? You want to wrap it in a plastic bag. You're out in a wilderness situation. You have a laceration. Here comes a one heck of a storm. You're going to cut that out, tape it over your area. And now you have a waterproof bandage right over your wound and it's not going to get wet. Actually, this one's a little more common than you think. You're hiking. You're out 
couple days, a day, whatever, and you fall and you get a stick or a wound into your chest, an impaled object into your chest. This is where you get the sucking chest wound situation. You may have read or heard about that. Side note, anatomy here. If I took a knife, if I had a knife, if I took a knife, my Groman, and I put a cut just above my clavicle, and I went in parallel, I'm hitting my lung. Lung goes up that high. So an important anatomical lesson there. So you have a puncture in your chest. A lot of times when these people fall, they're rolling. It'll come out, and you have what's called a sucking chest wound. And you'll know, trust me, when you have one of those, you'll know it. So one of the things to ease comfort, because it is very painful, is you get a plastic bag. So you're going to take the plastic bag, you're going to get you some duct tape, and you're going to basically just tape this really nice and tight over the wound. It doesn't even have to be this big. I have seen where individuals have actually used the cellophane around a pack of cigarettes. We're talking about a puncture wound. It doesn't have to be as big as my hand like I have it here. I'm doing this for demonstration so you can see. So it could literally be the cellophane on a cigarette pack size. You want to basically cover that hole, and that works really, really well. And we're talking about comfort and aid for the patient and transport that puppy out of there. So that's another use of the plastic bag. At the risk of redundancy, I can't do a plastic bag hack without talking about it being used for irrigation. So once again, you put a hole in your bag, small hole, just like decorating a cake. And now you have probably that's going to be about, I'm going to guess, four to five PSI, a 60 cc syringe is going to give you six to 14 PSI. But this is awesome. You're looking at, again, as I've told you guys a thousand times, the best solution to pollution is dilution, and that is very true. So you irrigate that, you're going to save yourself most likely money for antibiotics, money for an urgent care visit just by irrigating the heck out of the lung. All right, so we're going to talk about this giveaway. I know people are excited, looking forward to it. There's going to be a little bit of an addendum on this one, and I'm going to explain that right now. So we're going to give away a brand new Sam Splint, first place. Second place is going to be the autographed, the third edition, the fourth edition just came out, of the Field Guide to Wilderness Medicine by Arbok, which is autographed by the main man in there. And then we're going to be giving away these Berman Airways. Now, here's the addendum. So, this is going to be a first and second place. This is going to be a place all by itself. Why is that? I don't feel comfortable in giving this away to people that are not medical. You shouldn't be using this anyway. And it's really important that you know how to do it. So, brand new Berman Airway. This should go to EMT, paramedic, PA, NP, MD, nurse. Um, so what you need to do, the rules are as follows. Like this video, obviously. Comment down below. If you are medical, in the comment that you write, just write medical. Your name will be thrown into the Berman Medical Giveaway. Everybody else is going to be thrown into the video with the Sam Splint and the first, the third edition of Field Guide to Wilderness Medicine. All right, and then the next video, don't know when it's going to be. Got a lot of stuff on my plate these days. That's when we're going to do the giveaway, so stay tuned, guys. Keep your eyes on the horizon, your face the wind. Good luck.